The Chocolate Queen, Kirsten Tibbles, is here and we're going to be making a berry delight. How berry delicious. <laughs> it is a yummy one. We're going to start with a cake in the base, yep. berries on the bottom and top it with meringue. Oh, sounds fantastic. Now, how can I help? Can you pop one egg, egg yolk, into the mixer? Okay. And then we're going to add in some sugar and lemon zest. Mm -hmm. While you're doing that, I have some butter. Mm -hmm. Yep. One teaspoon of oil. Mm -hmm. And this is also going into the cake. It's going into the cake, but we're going to warm it slightly. Oh, why is that? Just to melt the butter mainly, but yep. to fully incorporate it. It's a really light cake and we're going to aerate it with baking powder. Mm, and good. some vanilla bean paste. You can't have pastry items without vanilla. That's right. It's probably I... for me, it's the equivalent of you adding salt. <laughs> so true, isn't it? I love that. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this on and you want to give this a good amount of time. Just... Seven minutes precisely. It's not seven and a half? No, exactly seven minutes. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on that. And I'm going to mix some berries okay. here. Just cut them up a little bit. These blackberries are absolutely divine I but know, right? a little bit too big. So yep. just slice them up. Mm. I'm going to tear the raspberries as well. Mm -hmm. I could probably do that for you. And so this is one of those recipes where you could probably change up the berries that you use. Absolutely. Yeah. And you can use frozen if you want. Fresh is always better when it's in season. Yeah, absolutely. I like a smell. Oh, <laughs> the smell of fresh raspberries. There's nothing like it, is there? No, they're perfect. Fantastic. So, Justine, that's enough raspberries. Okay. If you can add in the sugar and the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. and that goes. A Just a pinch. Cinnamon. Perfect. And you're going to mix that? We're going to mix that together. Great. Justine, the butter mixture has cooled down slightly. Mm -hmm. If you want to lower the speed a little bit and gradually add that in. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm going to place some berries into the base. Now, I'm just using some glass jars. Now, it, they don't have to be heat proof because we're going to cook them in a water bath, but oh. you can do coffee cups or something like that, yep. little bowls. Because we're going to be serving in, in the glass, right? We're going to be serving in the glass mm -hmm. and we're going to serve these as soon as they're cooked. Right. You don't need to grease these at all, mm -hmm. just pla simply place them in. Okay. So that looks like it's incorporated. Let's have a look here. So now you can sieve in the plain flour and baking powder. I feel like I'm getting you to do all the work. Oh, Does it seem like that? I would not have it any other way. <laughs> so the baking powder is going to lift that beautiful cake and make it really light. Okay. And that goes directly in on top of the berries. And at this stage, we really don't want to be over mixing this. No, you can either fold the dry ingredients through by hand or really slow speed on a mixer. What, what happens if we do over, over mix it? All right, I can go really technical and go into gluten strains. Medium but... technical, <laughs> medium. <Okay. laughs> what you do is you start to develop the gluten in the flour, which will make the cake tough, where you want it to be light and moist. Yeah. And it makes it shrink as well. Okay, so just very yep. gentle. And that is ready now. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, super glossy. I'll take that mixer off. Great. And pass that to you. Thank you. We're going to fill these just halfway. Mm -hmm. You can probably pour the batter in, but you know what I'm like. Pedantic. Pedantic. Perfectionist. <laughs> Little bit. That's why I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got some water here just to fill the bain-marie. Now, how long do these cook in the oven for? These will cook in the oven at 160 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Right. Well, these just look delicious as is. They, no, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Got to add a little bit of meringue on top. <laughs> so this is a French meringue which will expand in the oven. Easy to make. We do have the recipe on the website. Yes. So whisk it for 15 minutes. That's a trick to making it nice and glossy. Fill it right in there so there's no air bubbles. Ooh. And when you say 15 minutes, we add the eggs first, allow them to foam up a bit and then slowly add in the sugar. You can do it that way yeah. and gradually add in the sugar, which is a traditional way, but if you really want to, you can cheat it and just put it all in. Good. Nice to know. Yeah. And so how long are these going back into the oven for? Ten minutes. Okay. And that meringue is going to brown a little bit, but it's certainly going to puff up and then they're best eaten when they're hot. Well, I thought they looked fantastic before, but now 
well. Don't they look impressive? So good. And they're still slightly warm? They're still slightly warm. Best way to eat them, but you can eat them cold as well. Okay. And I see you've got the spoon at the ready. I didn't put that spoon there. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Will you be my taste tester? All right. I mean, there's a spoon there. I better get into it. Oh, look at that meringue. Crisp so make top. sure you get all the layers. Oh, yeah, look at that. You've got some nice chunk of berry there, some of the cake and the meringue on top. I think I've got too much on my spoon. It's all right, you can do it. I've got faith in you. Mmm. <laughs> that was a very big mouthful, quite rude, but I don't regret anything. <laughs> it's that good. Kirst, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yum!